Okay, another quick video here on determining polarity. You'd think it'd be something really simple, but I ask an important question. Which side of the magnet is centripetal, and which side of the magnet is centrifugal? Well, the answer is both sides have both centripetal, and both sides have centrifugal. I will answer that for you in a second. So, let's say you have a compass here. How do you determine which polarity your magnet is by using a compass? Well, you know your compass, north points to north, but that's because the magnetic south pole of the Earth is in the north. So, if we bring our magnet, our compass near our magnet, and if the north is painting to this side of the map, pointing to this side of the magnet, then we know that's the south pole. And inversely so, if we turn it over here, you see that red mark? I know this is the actual magnetic north pole of this magnet, but as you can see, the south pole of the compass will point towards it because the compass is interested in telling you what is the geographic location, the physical geographic location of the north. It doesn't tell you, a compass doesn't, any compass doesn't tell you where the magnetic north is because the magnetic north on a compass is pointing south on the compass. Where it says south on a compass, that is the magnetic north. The magnetic north of the Earth is in, uh, in Antarctica. Now here's something really stupid. Most people don't have these. They're magnetic field finders. Oh, look fascinating. Well, the idiot Chinese people that typically build stuff like this, bass backwards, they marked the red, i.e. the North Pole, red. And they marked the green, the South Pole, or blue. Although it looks uh, green here, it doesn't make any difference. But they should have reversed the colors because we know the magnet here, that is the North Pole, but our South Pole is pointing towards it, which is accurate magnetically, but as a quote-unquote field finder, which this is supposed to be, quote-unquote, it is inaccurate. They should have reversed the colors. So if we have the green pointing here, that means it's the North Pole, because this is the South Pole of the magnet of the field finder. Idiocy, right? Well, it's painted accurately, but to show you the correct field direction, it needs to be painted Inversely. Now we have some oil here. Let's take a quick look. Let's pretend there isn't any red tape. We know the north is the north is that direction. This is a really powerful magnet, by the way. North is pointed over there. So without actually jiggling our plate too much, let's move around here since we have oil on our plate and just give it a little shake. And you watch the north point to the north, and the south is that direction. And without jiggling the plate, let's bring it around. This is a really powerful magnet. This one will really hurt you if you get it caught between your fingers. Jiggle it a little bit, and ta -da! Magnetic north is pointing towards the north. But why would that be since quote unquote opposites attract? As I said in the earlier video, the magnetic south pole of the earth is in the geographic north of the earth. That is why the South Pole here is pointed towards the geographic South Pole here, but the South Pole in Antarctica is the magnetic North Pole. Confused? It's really simple. Remember, whichever way your magnet's pointing, this is pointed towards the South. We know the direction is South this way. Therefore, this is the South Pole. So you can always determine, determine correct polarity by doing the shake test of a magnet. Hopefully, we're not one this dangerous and powerful. So whichever way is pointing, that is the correct pole. Otherwise, it's inverse. Like uh, using a compass, it'll give you the wrong. Because it says, well, this is the South Pole here, so that must mean this is the South Pole. No, it's the North Pole. Same thing with a compass. Well, I don't know. Our compass says that uh, this is pointing towards the south. No. The compass is designed to work with the Earth's polarity, not a magnet's polarity. Now, the Earth is a magnet, but the Earth is flipped. The magnetic south of the Earth is in the north, and the magnetic north of the Earth is in the south. Now, the one question that I got asked, and is a really important question, is well, which side is centrifugal, which side is centripetal? Well, each one has a centrifugal and each one has a centripetal side. So, let's go take a look at which is which. And let's turn our camera back on here, since it went off. 
and we'll show you which side is which. Now, we know the red is our magnetic true pole here. Now, the way the magnetic works is there's two fields on either side. Centrifugal divergent along the edge and another direction in the middle. And using our grid pattern here, let's adjust it really quickly. Remember, this is our magnetic north pole. Two fields on either side. Centrifugal, i.e. divergent, that means the strong velocity field leaving the edge here. And centripetal, right here. Just like pulling the drain on your plug of your bathtub. It's sucking in, for lack of a better analogy. I explain that in detail in the book. But So, our north pole, centrifugally, Centrifugal will be the large field here. The centripetal will be the small creation here. So a north pole of any magnet, big one, small one, dangerous beast like this, doesn't matter, all the same. If you have it marked correctly, look. The centrifugal, you see how it's twisting the square clockwise? The centrifugal on a north pole of any magnet is clockwise, but its centripetal is counterclockwise. So you can see the spiral there in the center, scintillating hair is moving counterclockwise. Now, let's flip it over. Should be just the inverse for the south pole on both centrifugal and centripetal, and ta-da, of course it is. The centrifugal, i.e. the outside edge, is counterclockwise, and the centripetal should be inverse to that, and inverse to the north pole, which it is. Look, the centripetal is clockwise. So, the south pole of any magnet Centrifugally is, which is it? Counterclockwise. And the centripetal? Clockwise. North pole? Centrifugal is clockwise. Centripetal is counterclockwise. Let's look at that again. Hope I'm not boring the snot out of you, but here we go. North pole, centrifugal. The large field reaction. Just imagine a jet coming out from here of magnetism and another jet re-entering the center here. The centrifugal, i.e. divergent field, creating the huge formation, deformation here on the square, is clockwise. And the centripetal is counterclockwise. South pole, just the reverse. The centrifugal is counterclockwise. You see the square is deforming counterclockwise, and the centripetal is clockwise. You can see the scintillating hairs there moving in a clockwise fashion. So, that answers, I had three people ask that question. They said, well, which side's going which direction? Is the, is the south pole going clockwise, and the north pole going counterclockwise? The answer to both is yes. Depends on whether you're talking centrifugal or centripetal. Each side is a double vortex. The centrifugal is leaving here. Reciprocating around, returning centripetally. South pole is moving divergently, meaning away from centrifugally this side, and returning centripetally here to the north side. This is FI, or field incommensurability. This is how a magnet works. And along the midsection, driving the whole thing, is the dielectric inertial plane. The dielectric flywheel, if you will. This is how a magnet's created from strong electrification, but the electricity is transferred into dielectricity in the inner atomic. It creates a special field incommensurability geometry of the inner atomic magnetodielectricity, which creates this macromagnetic effect, which we call a magnet. But a magnet is 3.23 parts, 2, 3.23606, on and on and on parts of dielectricity to one part magnetism. So now you know which side of a field is moving which way. South pole is moving counterclockwise centrifugally, but clockwise centripetally. North pole is moving centrifugally clockwise and centripetally counterclockwise. Hope that answers your questions. Ask any more questions and they will be answered. Thanks for watching. Keep heads up. The third edition of Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism will have stuff in it that will blow your mind. Your head will literally fall right off the top of your shoulders. And if you think I'm joking, uh, a couple of the experiments uh, actually rolled my own head off my shoulders. The results were fascinating. Since I'm not selling anything, you obviously know that's not a sales pitch. I got nothing for sale. Although I have been told that the most recent experiment, the results are so fascinating, and the picture is so incredibly beautiful. And I'm a... I don't want to say I'm miserable. I'm not miserable, but... 
I'm kind of a, a grumpy, a grumpy SOB. The picture is so incredibly, of this experiment, which I've reproduced now, I think, ten times, is so incredibly gorgeous and beautiful, it is stunning. Any person that has two brain cells would want a gigantic poster of this experiment of mine hanging on their wall. It is, it is sublime, it's beautiful. I, I can't... When someone who never praises anything says something is wonderful, sublime, divine, beautiful, unific, just absolutely incredible beyond unspeakable words. I mean, it makes uh, Neil Armstrong standing on the moon picture look like uh, dog poo by comparison. It's just amazing. I mean, when you see it, you'll just, your head will fall off your shoulders. I really should sell posters of it. That's probably the one thing I may actually sell is... Uh, is posters of this one experiment. It shows so many things in nature together and it shows a geometry and a gorgeous symmetry and several things going on at once. They're just so incredible that I can never explain it to you. But wait for the third edition and uh, you'll see it in there and uh, I'll have high resolution pictures of this experiment and this gorgeous... Actually tomorrow I'm gonna go down to Kinko's and print out uh, some quasi posters, some 11 by 17s of them and give them out to people. Anyway, thanks for watching and that's a heads up on the third edition. Call, excuse me, email or text me with any questions. Thanks for asking questions.